Hojo was once the encampment of the Yang Di clan. But now, it's a desolate wasteland. Be careful out there. I better go help out. I was out here looking for my people, but, well, anyway, thanks for saving my hide, um... Ku, the pleasure is mine. You're the Gong Gong, the strongest warrior in the two realms. Guilty. Gotta say, you're pretty tough yourself, slugger. Who, me? Nah, just a regular person on a mission to save the world and whatnot, so... Well, I'm on a mission to fetch my weapon. Had to hide it because of all these ugly goons running around. Say, why don't you meet me at Zhurong Hall, north of here? You could be useful. Uh, I mean, impressed. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I didn't tell you. And he's gone. Did you know this place was built in honor of the succession of Fire Lords in my clan? When one passed, they'd hand the title of Zhurong to the next guy. That's actually really cool, but not really helpful, my lord. I always pictured him as this take-no-crap guy. The real Gong Gong is... different. Well, the real version of us can rarely match up to the image others have created. You're welcome. You hear that? That's one of my favorite sounds. Right up there with the clashing of blades and purring of kittens. Oh.
This is my baby. The flames of Yandi. So that's the flames of Yandi? Huh. This was easier than I thought. Ready, buddy? Behold! As I was saying, behold! Oh, ancestors, come on. Not again. The flames should burn as bright as the fire in the true heir of the Yandi Emperor. Do you see any other heirs to Yandi here, huh, ancestors? Um, is everything all right, Lord Gungu? Sorry, but I got a little nonplussed there. I guess it must be that day on the lunar calendar. My ancestors are being a bit testy, but no biggie. The flames are controlled by your ancestors? Kind of. After the Court of Heaven kicked us out, I swore to them and my people that I'd lay the royal ass-kicking on those royal asses. I inherited their war and these badass flames. The eternal struggle between the Yandi clan and the Imperial House of Huang. The flames, this torch, this was their inheritance and my legacy. Anyway, I've got the back door to heaven close by, and I'm sure there's some fancy pants nerds up there just waiting to have the butts kicked in. My ancestors just need a good show, and those flames will kick up again. But I've been up there, and there's no one left. And he's gone. Again. Gong Gong went in through here? Lord Gong Gong, why are we here? Just in time, kiddo. The flames demand battle, so we are taking the fight here and kicking the Emperor square in the softest part of his robes. Are you sure about this? The flames should... Yeah, pretty sure. I'd do it myself, but, you know, flying isn't exactly my strong suit. right now. No choice. I have no 
idea if that's good or bad. The kicking of monster ass reawakened the flames. Not quite. Did you remember to say a cool catchphrase while fighting? I found that helps Lord when... Lord Gong Gong, I'm on a mission to recover the flames of the Yandi in order to seal off the scar. The scar? Ah, yeah. That scar. I lost a lot of good people that day. My lord, many of us did. It wasn't just that. For the first time ever, the flames just went dead. And with that, my power and strength also faded. That explains why you were hiding earlier. And why you- Wasn't hiding. Right. Anyway, Lord Gong Gong, you said the flames represent the fire inside a warrior's heart. And the legends say the same. The warrior's heart! You're right! I need to show my ancestors I still matter. Your ancestors again? Are you sure the problem is with them? Whoa, whoa, champ. They might hear. That'll be bad for both of us. But mostly me. Just follow me to our clan hall, kid. South of this exit. Nope, not gonna say anything. See that fortress wall? Our troops would watch from here alongside our ancestors until the beacons lit up. That was a signal to march on. Ah, those were the days. And your ancestors are here? The fallen and dead warriors of your clan? Well, gods never really die, per se. They just, you know, become less present. But they're always around us, listening, judging. Maybe if I didn't cause the great sundering of the Sky Pillar, my ancestors would still hear me. What? I knocked that mountain down. That... was you? But... why? It's not important. 
What is important is making them happy and finally getting this flame to light up. That's what we both want. I'm sorry, can we go back to the part where you just admitted to dooming both heaven and earth? Kid, I'll explain everything to you after you summon my warriors to me. Even in death, they are bound to the core. And you're that confident they'll show up? They have to. They must. Go. That rings a bell. I already did what you asked, and I met your warriors. They're not coming. You met them? What did they say? The beacons... They worked? My loyal compatriots, you came back. We stand with Lord Gong Gong. He has summoned us. The war is over. The two clans are no more. But my legacy... Ancestors... I should have died in that battle, Ku. Along with my brothers and sisters. They held their ground, but then some dark force... They were butchered right where they stood. And all the while, this laughter echoing around me, mocking me. I felt a rage for my people, my ancestors who would never get their justice. I smashed into that mountain with all my fury. I wanted to end it all. End myself. Lord Gong Gong, I'm so sorry. I tried to live my life in a way that would make my ancestors proud. And in the end, when I failed, I couldn't even end my own life. Your people loved you, my lord. Even in death, they still answer your call, just like you said. Clearly, you did something right. Lord Gong Gong, goodbye. Remember... My loyal compatriots, you deserved better. I think your ancestors still hear you, my lord. But maybe they just don't like where you're at right now. It's been a while since I've talked to them. I have no idea what I'm going to say. Portal? Little guy? Why are you here? The legendary watchdog and companion to the Fire Lords of Yen? Lord Gong Gong. I've sent this creature to deliver my thanks to you. Thanks? For what? For getting rid of that mountain, my lord. You were the only one strong enough in all of heaven to do so. My people that day, that was you? A nudge to direct your violent impetus in the right direction. Collateral damage, my lord. Please. You avenge the lies Lord Gong Gong doomed, little one. Do you feel that seething rage yet? Lord Gong Gong has honor and integrity. He will make up for what he did. But not before we kick your ass for what you did. That's the spirit. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 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 
sorry about your dog. That was just a shade. The real one lived to the ripe old age of 6,000. 18 in human years. Can you give me a second? Ancestors, hear me. I have followed your wishes for generations and fought with honor alongside the greatest warriors in our clan's history. But henceforth, I relinquish my position as warlord of the Yandi clan. I will help undo the damage I've caused. And asses will still be kicked, I swear. But I have to. Please, don't be disappointed in me. I really wanted to make you all proud, but now I must do what is right. I will honor you and our fallen through my good deeds. Our name will live on. Oh, thank you, ancestors. Did you know that would work? Uh, yeah, of course I did. You know, kid, while I was airborne, I had a lot of time to think, and I realized what you meant. The flames refused to light up for a lost cause. I see that now. With your strength back, I guess the ass kicking can commence? Posterius will be trounced. He'll pay for what he did. But first, we seal off that scar. Together. I'm sure Goddess Nuwa will be happy to hear you tell her that bit of good news. Nuwa? She's alive? <laughs> I always knew that old girl was tough. I'm guessing she's in the usual spot. <laughs>